Bill hooks better in a long axe. Okay. Who the fuck is that? Oh, Fei Long's not supposed to be doing that. He's supposed to have a two-handed weapon here. Okay, so I do have to be a little bit careful. It's quite a few... So there's the one Berserker over there, a bunch of Orc Young. Baylong is not supposed to be wearing what he's wearing. Okay. Norl does have footwork. If he gets hit like once, he can't footwork out. Let's see where that ends up. don't have Indomitable here yet. I always forget that. little bit of placement anxiety here. Stun on the Bannerman's not good. Why is he fearful? You're indomitable. He just tried to stun you and failed. You're, you're scared of his failure? Do I find enemies to make the jump from 140 to 200? No, I tend to buy my first couple unless I'm farming nobles. Tempting a spear wall right there. <laughs> Still doesn't have the ability I want. Yeah, see, that's not good. Ah! 
hell was that? It's like hit him twice in the head. First one was a head hit. Second one must have just been uh, enough damage remainder. I'm really surprised with that work that did that. I don't need, I think it might even be too greedy to attack that. move in on a character not when character moves in on enemies what are you talking about uh -oh, rip shield don't know. I know how resolve checks work. Yep. I'm not, I'm complaining that my guy's resolve is pretty high. They shouldn't be fucking failing their goddamn morale checks every time an orc looks at them. I really don't trust that one. No, they don't do resolve checks with one enemy. It's two enemies, I believe. I'm pretty sure the way the check works is if you have a, if your opponent, if there's already an enemy next, if there's already an enemy next to your guy, to do it from our perspective, right? If there's already one orc next to our guy and a second orc moves in, we, we have to do a resolve check. It doesn't just happen the rest of it though. It doesn't just happen on the first one. It's also, otherwise it's damage over like 15 or something. Uh, I think we're good there, but we'll see. All right, we want to kill this guy if possible. Also, don't want to die. Um, I think we're okay to move in here and stab. Not gonna do anything. I might just stay out of reach right now. That's what I hate about fucking hammer. I just shattered his head. Doesn't help me at all. Okay. Wow. Just broke four of them. That's one of the other ones that triggers morale checks is when you're uh when your uh, one of your guys breaks it, the rest of your guys have to roll a resolve check. that work way around. That was a hell of a check. Well, we, we got it. We actually got a panic train, right? So one of the guys failed, and then the next one had to make a check, and then he failed, and then it just kept going. Pretty good for us. Okay. Thanks, Gazera. Glad to hear. Our modest fellowship expands. Praise the sub. Unique syntax. Thanks for the sub. Welcome. Hmm. I don't think I actually want music cat taking the damage there. Oops. There was a live one next to me. It's <laughs> kind of lucky.
Uh, let's move in there, then wait. I want to hit it with the hammer. And the head again. That's what I hate about fucking hammers. They do that to me all the time. All the free attacks feels so good. check for the first one. It's always the second one or more. up on it so I'm like 75% certain it's that way but the fact you're questioning it makes me worried that I'm wrong but I don't think I am trying on a new nimble two-hander there's a if there's someone on my team using nimble who's also using a two-hander it's just because i'm leveling them to do something else yeah all right it's over great a brick of copper <sighs> like a legendary item so i am trying out nimble on archers which seems very good right now and uh nimble on Somebody else too. I'm gonna be trying to nimble my blueberry hunter. It's down this way. A goblin overseer. A goblin shaman. Many skirmishers, some ambushers. We could take that. I don't wanna take that. Shaman would be the big pain. Some ambushers, many skirmishers. Some ambushers is four to six, many skirmishers is seven to ten. It's gonna have probably a good chance at loot. Why do you guys say don't do that? We're not, we're set up to kill goblins. Goblins are probably easier fights for us than, uh, than orcs. Yeah, if we engage in swamp, it's gonna be pretty unpleasant. But if we don't, We'll bring Billy in to draw some fire. I'm gonna try it. I think it's worth doing. We want we're here for legendaries, and that's a pretty good chance of a legendary in that one, so. Can't get fucked up by the overseer. I mean if he gets a couple of lucky crits or something, it's gonna be miserable as shit. Alright. So Galg is sword spec. No, Galg is not sword spec. Is sword spec. Isn't sword spec. Who's my sword spec guy? This guy. Yes, yeah, Chaman plus Overseer is going to suck. It's definitely going to suck. Alright, we need two more guys in there. Uh, we're not gonna bring Ally here on the background. I need to steal the bow back from Xylo. Oh, well, Xylo's higher accuracy now, right? 92 on Xylo, 100 on Triple P, and 94. Oh, it's very close. But no, Xylo's not higher. 
Yeah, flies are so stupid. Such a stupid ability. All right. I don't know what total armor I want my dudes in. I I need a, okay, so I've got one with recover and one with iron lungs. Yeah, he did well and very well, roll very well. He didn't, the only thing he missed uh, was the defensive stats. Okay, so I gotta get the rest of the weapons up front. Galga has no stam. Uh, Mega has very little stam right now. We're wearing pretty heavy armor for the tier of these guys. This guy has hammer spec. I mean, I guess I'll use this. I think it's not gonna hit a goddamn thing. Who's this? Got enough for an axe there? 57. Oh, what a mace. 59. I was running nimble guys with 40 armor tunics, maybe. Overwhelm with, with repost attacks from one-handed swords. No, it can't, because the way Overwhelm works is you have to have gone before them in the initiative order. And if they're attacking you and you're reposting, you're not going before them in the initiative order. And it, if you pass your turn, it you can't you're not you're not considered ahead of them anymore. So no. That's the answer to that. Okay, let's try this here. If we get a shitty spawn, this is going to be miserable. Alright, what do we have? Uh, it's gonna be a shitty first round, I think. But we can move to safety up this way. Good spots to shoot from, dry land. Just gonna suck when we get shot 25 times along the way. Okay. Who are they shooting right now? Yeah, if we get rooted in swamp, though, that's going to be extraordinarily bad for us. Not if, when. When we get rooted in swamp, it's going to be extraordinarily bad for us. Shit. the ally out of this forty five percent chance to succeed. Can't stand in the front with the archer though. So I guess I just rolled and succeeded. That's nice. A random patch of murky water. Get fucked. Alright. Oh, he just failed to break free. Ooh, all right. Music cats are mega, but he's not gonna be a mega if he doesn't get there. He's not gonna get there at this rate. He's going to die. He might die this next round, we'll see.
going to make a nice tight ball just so we get shat on. We have one Mega in training. It's our only one right there. Is he still in Swamp? Jesus. Do I want to rotate him out so he can actually get out? Because he's going to die. Maybe give him one more round. So awkward he failed his break. Maybe he won't root him though if I back up. Let's try there. Mega Mega Mega. Well, I mean, he doesn't. Mega 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 doesn't actually have that much starting. Oh God, there he is. He did just root that guy alone. That's really weird. Question is, where do we start shooting here? Yeah, that guy's behind cover. shooting position I need to be like there we can't be there so we're gonna have to move this way that's really unfortunate can I get him from there probably how do their archers start showing up shitty fucking terrain that hole right there is bad for us too we do have to kill a fair number of them with our archers before they'll start coming forward Billy's not even in range from here Billy has pretty good range defense though, right? Like 30 plus? 23 plus anticipation. never going to get out of there. So if I go there and break it out, it's four, seven, nine. And he's only going to have eight. swap like this there we go nice okay so he's out of the fucking swamp so he probably lives that's good uh, I'm not sure hiding and read affects any opponents cruel dwarf I tried it versus Geist, and it did not affect Geist. they could target me even though I was in the bushes so what I'm worried about is that hiding is only something your opponents can do The next round? No. Is 
Zyla doesn't have a lot of ranged defense. I wonder if I can get him there with the rotate. Let's try that. Okay. Yeah, I've never seen him do that either, Cruel Dwarf, but I'm not 100% sure anymore that's how that behaves. That's good. Not sure why you're... Uh, Alright, well. Let's get our free goblin wounds. It feels like the most counter, like counterintuitive thing ever to be the way you beat goblins is by outranging them, but that's the way you beat goblins. Seems stupid, but that's how it works. Guess we're going to there and waiting. Don't need you there. Back up. Uh, you gotta be careful. Another one of those hits can be really bad. 38. Pierce Tan is offense though, right? This is still the most likely spot to get shot from, is in the front line here. I think this is fine. Okay. Good. Back up. Shield wall. Be done. It's fine, fine, fine. Okay. I should have passed on all these. There's still the guy to root me, isn't there? Could be rallying, I guess. We have uh, minus a little bit. Attack my reduce my melee attack. No defense and initiative or a range attack. Oh, really can't reach it. Has a helm. Is this a minus two sight helm? No, it's just minus one. Does he have like eye damage or something? No. All right. Find where we are there. Free ally there. Attempt to free ally, I guess. Alright. It's pretty good. possible to bait an enemy by putting an archer three in armor in front they were like charging you archers uh no it seems to be almost based entirely on the number of ranged units you have compared to theirs whether or not they move forward so i'm not sure you can bait them into attacking by just an archer and heavy armor they'll shoot guys but you can bait them into attacking guys with low uh, range defense by putting them in front and heavy armor so it's not something you really that really helps you the avoidance is basically better all right down to 13 enemies Billy has no bow mastery. Billy's a hybrid, right? No bow mastery. That's correct.
Really, guys? We're gonna miss all these? Assholes. Yep, we're gonna miss all four of our archer shards this round. Exciting. Guess we're gonna stand around here and break people free? I need Bill. I mean if I can't support Billy standing here shooting it doesn't actually do anything to have me standing around there so I'll get over here to help break people free I guess I could stand Billy there he's got decent range defense maybe that's good enough okay We're all contributing here. We did nothing that round, but hey. I'm so glad we didn't work. If we'd spawned in like the middle of the swamp though, we'd been so fucked here. here to break free ally. Break free. We're good there. Free ally. Okay. Wonder if they'll charge this turn. I'm gonna run out of ammo. Most of my archers are on 30 ammo. I'm taking one shot a turn right now. I'm using the more accurate version. I'm not worried about running out of ammo right now. They'll run out of goblins before I run out of ammo. And now that they added extra ammo to archers, since you can now get the bags that are 15 instead of 10, I can bring 45 ammo to something that I can only bring 30 in before. It's a pretty big deal. Still believe they have range superiority. We're gonna fix that. Nice. The miss was better than the hit. Thirty-one. Okay. I don't want. Kind of want to move this guy up to there. Yeah, it's goblins. You have to beat goblins by being even lamer than they are with uh, with your archery. I've tried this before, I mean, I'm sure some of you guys have been around when I was doing it, where I was attempting to do this by rushing them with, like, guys in, with two-handers, and guys in, you know, like, trying to get some sort of action moving across the field and having some sort of parody, like, closing in on them as opposed to having to shoot them back and forth. But it just never worked, it was just always worse than just sitting and just sniping them. I care about the archers more. Okay. The 
double fail there. It's a little unfortunate. Break free. Free ally. Free ally. Nice hit. I can use the overseer crossbow. <sighs> okay. So they've decided to come forward now. So we've killed enough archers. Like that guy. No, I don't want to break free. I want to break free an ally. I don't care about myself there. Get him, Billy. Get him. There we go. Drop the crossbow, too. It's kind of nice. Correct. That's how you beat goblins. Make them run through us. Thing is, I would like this guy's club. It's the only pit of bit of goblin loot. I mean, the, the crossbow will sell for a lot. And I, if I ever can find a crossbow build that doesn't isn't terrible, then I would happily use it. I mean, it's an incredible weapon. Well, it's, I think it's worse than the arbalist, but it's still a decent weapon, right? But the only extra item I want is the club on that guy. Dude, shooting goblins in the swamp is sweet. Three kills for KDM, three shots. But he's gonna bail before we get a chance to get him. Probably a good build that utilizes the goblin crossbow and is good. Well, the goblin crossbow is worse than the arbalist. It has the the advantage is it has a knockback, and I'm pretty sure knockbacks from players is not actually an advantage. I think it's a disadvantage since it's you who does all the formations and the opponent doesn't do any of the formations, and it's the opponent who has all the formation wrecking shit. I'm pretty sure you don't want to knock them back. So I actually think that's the downside of the crossbow. The upside is it's readily available and it's uh, free. But use a better crossbow that's also readily available and free, which is the one off the noble houses. All right, it's over. Come on, fingers crossed for some legendaries. Oh, fuck off. All right, ton of food, I guess. Some arrows. Blah. I thought maybe since it was like an advanced goblin camp, we'd get something that's worth out of that. 
But the answer is no. Weapon I can switch in for a specific fight. What fight does it add? Is it advantageous for me to knock shit back? Can't think of a single fight. Maybe you could put it on your hybrids versus when the orc closed into melee range, you could shoot it and hope it knocked back with its like 5% chance to do that. All right, wound, wound. Uh, level up on Xylo. Roll a four, you fucking monster, Xylo. Oh my God, that's amazing. Great rolls. All right, we're definitely taking recover. I still don't know what the second one's gonna be yet. Okay. All right, bunch of wounds. There's a lot of wilderness over here. <laughs> Many orc warriors and orc warlord. Many. Many. Nope. Okay, this is out of our out of our league here. Big deal of discontented bros. Depends what you're doing. If you have a. I almost just clicked accidental. I guess we're fighting this again. This is the same fight, right? Goblin Overseer, lots of Goblin Skirmishers. It's the same exact fight. Okay, so let's set up to do that. We'll fight it on Daybreak. Archers are still fine. We can kill another Goblin Camp. Um, if my guys are just going to stand there and get shot, I don't actually have to run any particular guys to do that, as long as we have enough armor. So we could put in. Uh, Fay Long in there. I don't know why I'm repairing stuff to like, I'm gonna sell it. The, the tools are so much harder to come by. All right, so I want Fay Long up front then. Okay. Hello, hero. I'm pretty sure they have the same range defense, so 96 and 94. Oh, I see. No, you're right. I mean, KDM has... Well, we gotta see if we wanna upgrade KDM, because he's still sitting around with two perks we're not using. It'd be nice to fix that at some point. Our modest fellowship expands. Isaac Praise Christ. the sub. Thank you very much. The sub. Welcome. All right, uh, let's go get shot at. Do our same matchup as soon as Daybreak arrives. Can I somehow level these guys? Blueberry Hunter feels like he could level here, maybe? Nah, let's go with what we have, I guess. Named crossbows could be fun, sure. 